We're in the control room for a space simulator here at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. And one of the reasons I think this is so cool is this room is right out of the Starship Enterprise. This to me looks like Scotty's console in engineering or maybe auxiliary control. Scotty, we're suddenly off course. Check out maneuvering controls. Nice, that hold. We need time for the phase inverters to stabilize before we can activate the matter-antimatter injectors. How long? It'll take at least 15 hours. Get together what you need and beam down here with it. Top priority. Now, Mark Raymond doesn't just spend all his time sneaking off to do Scotty impressions during his lunch break. You see, he's actually been rather busy, well, uh, being Scotty. He's actually the chief engineer of JPL's most sophisticated and cutting-edge missions. He's in charge of multi-billion dollar robotic deep space probe projects. Next year, he's sending his latest creation called Dawn 300 million miles across the galaxy to say hello to an unexplored asteroid belt, just a meteor shower the other side of Jupiter. I've been there. Actually, it's lovely at this time of year. Dawn will be the latest probe to use ion propulsion, a revolutionary new system that uses electrically charged atomic particles as fuel propelling crafts ten times faster than if they used regular old-fashioned rocket fuel. Sounds pretty cool. Guess where they got the idea from? Hmm? I worked on a mission called Deep Space One, which was the first interplanetary mission to use ion propulsion to travel around the solar system. And the first time I ever heard of ion propulsion was in the Star Trek episode Spock's Brain. Aliens come to the Enterprise, and before they do their dastardly deed, Kirk walks over to Spock and says, What do you read, Mr. Spock? Configuration unidentified, ion propulsion, high velocity, though of a unique technology. And Scotty says, oh, I've never seen anything like it. And ion propulsion at that. Oh, they could teach us a thing or two. And so the opportunity to connect what I saw in Star Trek as a little kid to what I'm doing now as an adult is very, very exciting.